Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to our program. Uh, my name is Roberto Miranda, and I am here today with uh, Charles Jacobs, who is a longtime uh, activist and uh, human rights uh, worker in the uh, Boston area, but also nationally involved, uh, deeply active in the areas of uh, Jewish affairs, uh, human rights. He's also a journalist, a columnist, educator, and a man of many, many uh, years of uh, significant activity all over uh, the world, really. And uh, we are here to conduct an interview and a conversation today. And uh, I just want to welcome you, Charles, to our program. Thank you. And uh, it's a real joy and a pleasure to uh, meet you and have you on our program. And uh, maybe we can start with a little bit of your own history as a person who's been deeply involved in Middle Eastern affairs and uh, human rights, and I know the slavery issue. And I think one of the interesting things about you that uh, got my attention is that you have been very involved in Christian-Jewish relationships as well, which is a kind of a, an interesting take on uh, the whole issue of the Middle East. So maybe we can start there. Sure, sure. So uh, I'm a person um, of Jewish heritage. And uh, I care very much about my people and the very difficult times that uh, my people find themselves in today. You know, uh, Israel is now uh, in the middle of a cauldron of uh, explosive activity in the Arab world and has been always surrounded by hostile nations. And I wor we Jews worry very much about that. And when we look around the world for allies uh, to help us, I mean, you know, Israel is the size of... Uh, of a matchbox when compared to the, on a double bed, you know, uh, compared to the Arab world. The Arab mm -hmm. world is 300 million uh, people, most of whom don't want us to be there, don't want Jews to be there, at least uh, in a state that they own. Um, so we, we're, we look for allies. And uh, typically in the past, uh, people on the liberal side and the left have been allies of the Jewish state because they saw us as little tiny uh, David and the Arab world as Goliath, but that's changed. Uh, the Arabs have kind of won over much of the left and much of the liberals. And so we found ourselves, I think, probably surprised to find Christians with us. Because, as you well know, we don't have a, you know, some of the history of Jews and Christians is pretty brutal mm -hmm. and sad mm -hmm. and tragic. And it's taken a long time for many people in the Jewish world to understand that uh, Christians could be, and I think are, the most valuable allies that the Israelis have right now and the Jewish people have. I know there's an element of also the fear of um, uh, proselytization and so on and so forth. Do you really feel that that support of uh, Christians is sincere to be counted upon and what enables you to, be, to feel that way? Well, so let me tell you. So, so my, my wife's parents uh, are survivors from the Holocaust in Poland. Uh, my father-in-law he, he just, uh, bless his soul, he, he passed away two years ago. Um, he was in Auschwitz, and he had uh, the tattoo on his arm from the Nazis. And my mother-in-law was also in uh, slave labor camps of the Nazis. And so for them who lived in Christian Poland, uh, when I went to them and said, well, you know, I, I have these Christians who are Zionists, you know, who really like Israel and Jews, it was a hard sell. Uh, obviously, sure, it's sure. a hard sell. And for many people in my own congregation, I belong to an Orthodox Jewish community in, in Boston. And, uh, and um, that we weren't ready to hear it. It just wasn't ready. Even though, in the past, when you look, uh, evangelical Christians had always been pro-Israel and pro-Jewish. I mean, the founders of this nation, mm -hmm. America, were always that way. So it took many of us a long, long time to, to convince them we're not done. There are people in the Jewish community who are afraid that Christians are only saying this to convert us, uh, to uh, kind of warm up to us, and to, um, you know, that they're really not authentic friends. But I have found quite the opposite. I've found that yeah. uh, wonderful, wonderful Christian people who are not looking to convert me necessarily, who, um, who really feel for Israel and the Jewish people. Yeah, I think one of, the, one of the problems as far as that Christian image is the fact that uh, many people don't understand the complexity of uh, the Christian body as a whole. I mean, the, the Christianity is made up of so many small groups, we call them denominations. Of course, you have the Catholic-Protestant divide, number right. one. But then within Protestantism, you have everything from mainline liberal groups to more conservative groups. And I think this whole segment of Christianity that tends to see the Bible in a very conservative, literal sort of way, that is very steeped 
in the prophecies of the Old Testament, for example, that sees uh, scripture as literally true and inspired uh, by God, that is very appreciative of its uh, uh, Jewish uh, origins, of the Hebrew origins of Christianity, that is very knowledgeable about uh, the Old Testament prophets, about um, uh, the, relationship, the, the problematic relationship of J Yahweh or uh, the Lord, as we, you know, as we call him, and the Jewish people, who understand that uh, we cannot understand Christianity without going to our uh, Jewish roots. I think that whole segment of uh, Christianity is very, very uh, militantly in favor of Israel, because uh, we have this deep affection. We know that we come from the Isra Israelite uh, background, from the foundation. And so I think for that group, always throughout history, uh, the s support for the Jewish people has been absolutely un unquestionable. I think that is the segment of Christianity that now really very strongly voices the support for Israel and that really can be counted upon uh, and more militantly as time goes by. Well, we count the on them now. It's, it's yeah. clearly been the case and they've proven themselves to us. I mean, you know, you said something that was intriguing to me in a previous conversation. You said that, uh, uh, and maybe I'm, if I'm quoting you correctly, you said that uh, really Christianity was one of the only hopes for uh, Israel in the sense of its support for Israel. Maybe you can nuance that a little bit, but uh, that impacted me, and maybe you can tell me what you well, meant Well, as, as I said before, um, the Jewish people kind of de depended upon the human rights community and the liberal mentality who used to see us as this small little oppressed people fighting like hell, anti-colonialists. We fought mm -hmm. the Brits, you know, we fought, and they saw us as part of the left, I think, and, and we mistook that as something that was gonna be permanent. Well, all of a sudden, the, you know, the Arabs have become, you know, Palestinianism, which is this kind of doctrine that has it that this poor, dark-skinned, impoverished, innocent, native people was you know, ripped out of their land by the rich white Jews. I mean, the left has taken that frame mm -hmm. and has pushed us away. And so, uh, and I think many, many Jews are very upset about this. And you could see it, our, like your community is divided between the mainstream and the evangelicals. My community is divided between the radical left and the liberals and the m more conservative sorts. Well, I know in the past, uh, a little chapter of your activistic uh, career, you objected to the uh, uh, transmission of a program in public uh, broadcasting. It, ironically, it was out of Newton, which of yeah. course is a Jewish enclave, yeah. and yet its uh, tone was extremely anti-Semitic. Ultimately, you mentioned the irony that in this Jewish uh, community uh, there was strong support for something that was truly anti-Semitic. Well, this is a problem that the Jews have, you know. I mean, a lot of people understand that, uh, appreciate Jewish uh, brilliance in a lot of uh, circles. You know, we win a lot of Nobel Prizes, much more than the percentage of us in the world population. We're pretty good doctors and lawyers and all that. But when it comes to politics, I have to say, uh, God left out some <laughs> DNA, I think. And, uh, and Jews, you know, uh, are, are not very good at, at certain things. And so we bend over backwards normally, Jews, to show how liberal we are, how open-minded we are, and it's, it's led to some political, some big mistakes. Yeah, some I think one of the mistakes. ironic things is to see some of these Jewish intellectuals actually uh, speaking so vociferously pains against uh, pains Israel. Me. It's kind it, of a, it it's, it's a spectacle. We fight them like hell. Yeah. You know, <laughs> we, we fight them, but it's, uh, it's, it's a problem. Uh, well, you know, it, it's something that you see even... But let, me, let me explain yeah, yeah, no, go, go because it's, it. it's go difficult for. because mm -hmm. the Christians mm -hmm. always ask me, how, how come, you know, the Jews are always against themselves or why yeah. some segment of them are... Uh -huh. It's like, you know, the battered wife syndrome. If you have some... Or a battered child syndrome. They go to the psychiatrist and they say, you know, it must have been something I did that mm. makes this husband beat mm. me up. Why mm. does she want to do that? Because she wants to say, well... If it's something I did, I could fix it. You know, if it's just his hatred of me, I can't fix it. So mm -hmm. in, the Jew, in the way, the Jews are a battered people. Mm -hmm. And we want to think, if only we could change, if only we mm -hmm. would be more accommodating and make more concessions, maybe they wouldn't hit us. And it's, it's, a, it's a syndrome. 